The Fulbright program is uh, built on this idea of cultural exchange. I was there to learn, but also they were there to learn from me. They would always tell me, you're not a typical American, but uh, they had never met any other Americans, so their ideas came from, you know, media and online. It's personally rewarding. I think I've become a better person. Um, I think I can contribute to society better and can understand different people better. For my Fulbright, I went to a small village in Honduras, in central Honduras. It was called La Concepcion. And I lived there with a family and became very much part of that community. But um, I worked with the nonprofit Heart to Honduras and did community development work. So we would go to these impoverished villages and we'd kind of sit down with them and be like, so what is your vision for your community and what are the resources you have? I was teaching in a very, very rural um, location in Thailand. I lived at the school, so I would commute um, about 30 seconds. We would do a morning assembly. I would teach about five classes a day. It was all English classes. I taught grades seven through 12. And then after school, I usually, um, I led a club. I, I led the American Film Club, uh, which basically involved us watching a lot of American movies and talking about them and what they meant and also kind of working on our English skills as well. I went to Malaysia. All of us had a month long orientation and then we were just sent out to our placements. And I lived in a small town um, on the island of Borneo. Depending on the teacher I was working with, some days I would lead class, some days I would help class. That was only half of my job. The other half I spent um, organizing after school activities, planning English camps. I went to the Czech Republic. I was a teaching assistant in English classrooms. I would usually do some sort of presentation on uh, an American state or a national park, and then we would talk in English about it. The ones who were curious about English, whenever they asked me to do something, I always went. And so I visited a lot of students' uh, villages and their houses, just tried to always say yes to everything. A lot of times you're going to be overwhelmed by culture shock or exhausted. But when somebody calls you up to go to dinner, or to go to the mountains for the weekend, just go because you're not going to regret it. I think I learned a lot about myself, and you learned what you're capable of. You learn about another culture and how, how well you can adapt to something like that, and how far you can kind of uh, push yourself outside of your comfort zone. So it really makes you think about your goals and what you want out of life and, and how you're going to live on. The Office of Fellowship Advising was definitely helpful during the whole process. The staff checked my essays, uh, made sure I made deadlines, walked, pretty much held my hand throughout the whole process, um, and made sure my application was the best it could be before I finally submitted it. And Fulbright is, here's this you know, opportunity where you know, you're gonna work, you're gonna be paid, and you're gonna receive an experience abroad. And there's not many um, opportunities or organizations that lets you become immersed in a culture, but also has such a great support system. If there's any, any inkling at all that makes you think maybe you want to do it, apply. Apply and forget about it. And if you get accepted, that's amazing, and then you can make your decision then. Um, but, you know, throw your hat in the ring, give it a shot, and if you get it, then really, really consider doing it um, because it was one of the best experiences of my life. If you want to learn more about yourself, learn more about American culture, you realize what we have here when you're away. And if you want to learn about another group of people, the way another people live and love and learn and laugh, then go for it. Definitely had its challenges, but in the end, I would do it all over again.